red Elmos, white unicorns. Everyone's got their own favorite. I really like chocolate. <laughs> it's probably the chocolate chocolate chip donut. Cindy Simcoe's donut shop, a well-known staple in town. Our donuts are made from potato flour. Hence the name so Spud uh, Nuts. You know, for people who are gluten sensitive. She's sweet. But an owner known for her smile. Thank you. Now thinks twice about who she trusts in her shop after this. You could feel the burn, it's like, you know, she just splashed at me and I could just feel something burning and I screamed. She says the woman in the corner right there is homeless and comes in from time to time. After another customer bought the woman a coffee and a donut, she sat down in the corner, but had a tendency to scream out loud, scaring a small child at a table next to her. So I came out and I just, you know, kind of went over to her and quietly just asked her like, excuse me, ma'am, can you keep it down or, you know, go outside? Instead, the woman did this. It was straight at my face and it was all over. Hot? Hot. Hot coffee. I was screaming, the little girl was screaming. In the seconds after, Cindy ran to the bathroom to wash her face. Another employee yelling at the woman to get out. With some aloe and ointment for her face, Cindy says she'll be fine. But an owner with an open door policy is now closing her door to the homeless for now. In the past six months, another local store owner was attacked by a homeless person too. This in neighboring Chatsworth, a liquor store there. And this one farther down the street at a flower shop. It's gotten a little bit worse over the last three years, I'd say. So, don't let the kids go out without us. Heather Skillicorn and her two boys love Cindy's Donut Shop. And what's happening to the neighborhood won't really change that. But it will make us stay more cautious and on the toes. Yeah, sad lesson to learn here the, uh, yesterday morning, and Cindy tells us she filed the police report this morning. She says police are pursuing felony charges against that woman. Uh, as for that woman, we want to make it perfectly clear she was not a customer. She did not pay for that cup of coffee. A different customer gave it to her. No good deed going unpunished. We're going to post the video on our website. You can check it out at foxla.com. Reporting live in Canoga Park, I'm Jeff McAdam. I'll send it back to you guys.